What it do, what it do, it's your boy T Light, man. Back at y'all today, baby, with another one of those five bar reviews, man. But today, man, we're gonna be reviewing the last call challenger gt yes i said a last car challenger gt i know you saying a last car challenger g a last car gt that's what i said didn't i i said a challenger gt i i i, I don't think i stuttered i don't think i stuttered let's get right into it man listen here we're gonna do a little view and i'm gonna tell you why you should get this car if you can to get the other cars i'm gonna tell you the pluses of this car but let's go straight to the quick little view as you can see it's a challenger nothing's changed for the last almost 10 years well since 2015 you still got the same grill same little grill as you can see you got this GT emblem you got the same little lights that you always had the difference between a Hellcat this little light right here this part right here will be cut out you would if I ain't gonna say cut out it would be hollow you can stick your hand in it for better air 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 flow this one doesn't but guess what guess what you can take that out it just screws right in, screws right in out, right on out. So if you wanted to take that out, you could. Also, you got the fog lights at the bottom. You got the fog lights. You got the uh, uh, cruise control monitor right there. Distance cruise control distance monitor. You got your uh, front splitter. Front splitter. Yes, sir. You got your front splitter. You get those. What are those yellow things? Those are travel guards when you when they when they uh, when the car is in. Uh, transit traveling on a truck those put they put those on there you're supposed to take those off but if you don't want to take them off don't take them off but remember if you don't take them off they're gonna start rubbing on this right here and it's gonna leave a little indentation that's gonna leave a little indentation but if you're gonna keep them on that indentation don't matter do I do it but yeah also with this you got your little right here this little breathing apparatus I know you like is it is it functional yes it's functional as you can see you can see inside I could put my if my fingers was a little less fat I could show you that you could put your fingers in there let me put my little finger in there see how I put my little finger in there that's a breathing apparatus that you really it, it's really it's really active that's an active breathing apparatus on top of that let's move to the side of the car the side of this bad boy I know you're looking like wait a minute I know those ain't Brembo's on a GT yes those are Brembo's on the GT. Let's get in close so we can see these Brembo's. Are they six piston Brembo's? No, I think they four piston. They just look like six pistons. I'm not, if I'm mistaken, if I'm not mistaken, these are four piston, but they damn sure look like six pistons. <laughs> but that don't really matter because they look good. Brembo's on the GT, tell me where you seen that at. Only on the last car. Yeah, only on the last car will you be able to get Brembo's on a GT. Uh, the tire we're looking at a 245-45ZR tire, which is a Eagle. This is the Eagle F1. 245s, as I always say, that's a fart. They need to put 275s on this. 245s, too small. The tire's too small. It give you too much gap, as you can see. That's too much gap. I don't like the gap, but for that's I don't like it. You may love it. I just don't like it. But these 20-inch wheels, man. Let me back up. Look at them 20 inch wheels. Them things is spack knack 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 magnificent. That means they are very beautiful wheels. For those who don't know what the smack knack 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 magnificent means. That means they're beautiful wheels. These are beautiful wheels. I don't know what color this is. It's like a grayish color. It's like a, a gray color with flakes. If you look real close, it's flaked out. It's like flake. I don't know what color wheels these is, but them, these, these wheels is bad. These are sharp wheels, these sharp. I wish that these lug nuts was black, but you can't get all your wishes. All your wishes don't come true. Contrary to your belief, all your wishes don't come true. But uh, what color is it? This color is regular white. This is a regular white car. Uh, this one in particular, also you get a moon roof. A moon roof with this bad boy. This bad boy, this last car, they got this one funked out. They put some money into this one. Let's see what we got on this one. They want 44,000. Just to say forty-five thousand, because after taxes you're gonna be paying up almost fifty thousand. But uh, what they got to make this forty-four thousand dollars? Oh, okay, they got the uh, optional equipment, uh, customer preferred package. That's gonna cost you four thousand dollars. What they get? They got Alcantara leather, Napa seat, performance seats. They got the uh, door trim, ambient lighting. Oh damn, they got a lot of shit. What stitch dash panel, man. Dodge performance page. They got performance pages on the GT. Heated front seats. Okay. High intensity discharge headlamps. Front fog lamps. Oh, that costs money. Dang. What they got? Uh, uh, they got the new security system on it. They got heated steering wheel. A heated steering wheel on a uh, S uh, GT. That's crazy. 
Shark fan antenna, you gotta play for that? Hey, it's got Wi-Fi, Sirius XM, uh, power tilt telescope come. You connect, eight inch screen, blind spot monitoring, uh, rear cross path detection. Man, bright pedals, what the hell is bright pedals? I guess we'll see when we get in. Rain sensor windshield wipers, man. Collision warning? ABS, they got, yep, this is four piston Brembo's. Yep, as you can see right there, that says four piston Brembo brake calibers. That's crazy. And it's got the flat bottom steering wheel, uh, high performance suspension. Dang, they got all type of stuff on this GT. 20 inch wheels, like I said. It says the color is granite crystal wheels. Dang, red brake calipers, power moon roof, compact spare tires, 245, 45, 20. Man, that cost, and the destination charge was $1,500. Whew. This thing is nice. Let's go to the back. We got the fuel thing. I would have made that black right there. The fuel thing, I would have made that black. Again, the 20 inch wheels, granite color. Let's get to the back of this bad boy. You get a black spoiler on this one. The uh, lights, as you can see, they're gonna be always the same. This was, dang, they got the dummy pipes. As you can see, what you mean dummy pipes? It's still dual exhaust, but what I'm saying is this right here is not really a tip. It's a false tip. As you look closely, as you can see, it's not connected to the muffler and the exhaust pipe is not connected to it it's a dummy it's actually part of the diffuser as you see that that comes part of the diffuser so if you was going to get another diffuser on this particular challenger you would uh actually have to get those get you some real tips so that's just food for thought for those who are wondering you if you want to change that diffuser out you're definitely going to have to get you a whole new set of tips Let's open it up, got plenty of space, plenty of space. You can put a body in here. If you don't want to put a body in here, if you're cheating, you can put your uh, your girlfriend that you're cheating on, you tell her get in the back, we're going to ride around the block, and uh, that way my girlfriend or my wife don't know. I'm just saying, don't, hey, don't cheat. I'm just saying if you was cheap, I'm just giving you an option. But uh, let's pull that up. There goes your spare tire. You got your battery in the back. For those that don't know, most Dodges and Chrysler, they come with the battery in the back, not the front. Yes, sir. I don't see any special stereo system or anything. I don't see no uh, kicker or anything like that. I don't see anything back here, so it probably doesn't have no special uh, system. But we'll find out when we get in the front. Let's get on up in the front. Let's get inside of this bad boy before we go to our next ta talking point. Okay. Yeah. Definitely got Alcantara leather. Alcantara with the leather. We got a... Uh, that's a... Um, cup holder man i couldn't even talk cup holder got the brushed metal uh brushed metal uh handle as usual we got the same little setup you got the lights and i mean not your lights your windows and your mirrors controls man look at that nice little color what color would that be right there like a grayish color with your two cup holders you got your gear shifter right there you got your eight inch you connect screen you got your dash with the get the gauges 160 on the dash for those that get mad Got your digital display in the middle. That's probably like a three inch screen in the middle. Yeah, RPMs and uh, miles per hour right there. We got a flat bottom steering wheel on this bad boy. Flat bottom steering wheel on a GT. Unbelievable. You got your uh, metal uh, brake and gas pedal. That's beautiful, beautiful. You can fit three people in the back of this Charger. I said Charger, Challenger, my bad quite easily and it's got leather in the back with the Alcantara Alcantara and you got the moon roof now let's get inside this bad boy and talk about why you should get a GT listen here not everybody can afford an RT a scat pack and dang sure not afford a Hellcat that's a lot of money man a Hellcat is a lot of money how do you know, T-Light? Because I own the Hellcat. How do you know, T-Light? Because I own the Scat Pack. How do you know, T-Light? Because I own the RT. They're not cheap. Not when you want one loaded like this. If you buy one loaded like this one got, a Hellcat, you're looking at 70, slim body, 70,000 easily. Wide body, probably about $90,000. Close to it. Scat Pack, if you get a Scat Pack fully loaded like this, low 70s, high 60s. You get an RT fully loaded like this, low 60s, high 50s. You get what I'm saying? This GT is only 44,000. I know you're like, only 44,000? Only 44,000. That's a great deal for what you're getting with this car. You're getting a flat bottom steering wheel, eight inch screen. You're getting a dash. You're getting a moonroof. You're getting the seats. You're getting the Brembo's. You're getting the wheels. 
You're getting the spoiler. You're getting the dual exhaust. You're getting everything that a Hellcat's got. This is exactly what a Hellcat ch uh, Challenger looks like inside. Yeah, a Hellcat Challenger looks exactly like this inside. Nothing's different. You hear me? Ain't nothing different in a Scat Pack Hellcat RT GT SXT. Nothing's different in inside. This car comes with all the other stuff. And you're getting the uh, top of the line suspension with this car. All wheel drive. This car will run with a uh, RT for those who don't know. Yeah, this car will run with an RT. It won't be the RT, but it'll run with it. It'll run. It, it'll make the person driving the RT sweat a little bit. This car is sweet, man. So if you cannot afford to get an RT, your budget is not. If you ain't got a budget for fifty thousand dollars and uh, sixty thousand dollars, because whoever ordered this car, he wanted it loaded. This thing is loaded, fully loaded. It ain't missing nothing. What kind of stereo it got? And it's got the Alpine stereo system. So this thing ain't missing nothing. This thing is fully loaded. So if you can't afford to get the top line, top car, like the R, like I said, RT Scat Pack Hellcat, that's it. those are expensive vehicles. This car is perfect, man. You pull up at the car show, they're gonna be like, man, that's, that thing is sweet. And if you debadge it, you take the GT badges off, debadge it, put you some bigger wheels on it, like some bigger tires. You can keep the, you can keep the same wheels. Some bigger tires, they're gonna think you're in a scat pack. They're gonna think you're in a slim body scat pack or a slim body Hellcat. But they will know once you press on the gas and hear that V6. <laughs> I had to say it. They gonna know you in the V6 when they hear that. But if you just got that bad boy parked, sitting parked, they gonna th they gonna they ain't gonna know if it's a Hellcat or a goddamn Scat Pack or an RT. They not gonna know what it is if you debadge it. So I'm just giving you an option. My thing when I'm a car guy, I'm not gonna just do a car review and tell you about the car. I'm gonna tell you why you should get the car. I'm gonna give you reasons why you should get the car. Cause some people might not get this particular car just cause, oh man, I'm in the GT, they are gonna laugh at me, they gonna make fun of me. Ain't nobody gonna make fun of you. I'm a big time car guy. I have never seen somebody at a car show pull up in a GT and get made fun of. I see people pulling up in neons and uh, escorts and fusions and getting mad love. It's a car, it's something for somebody. Everybody got gonna show you love, man. It's just a car community. Nine times out of 10, they're gonna show you love. And the person that's hating on you, he just jealous. Plain and simple. I don't care if he got a Hellcat. If he's taking the time to hate on your GT, he's a hater or she. Cause we ain't gonna leave the women out either. But yeah, this bad boy is a beautiful car. So if you're in the market to get one of these cars, I definitely will leave the link in the description for this particular car. I let you get in contact with the particular lady that's selling this car. Definitely a sweet little ride. Like I said, this car is forty-four thousand dollars, but it's fully loaded GT, fully loaded, fully specked out. Everything you can get on this car, they they pretty much got it. I've never seen a, uh, a GT spec'd out like this. Hopefully, I'm holding the camera right. But yeah, I've never seen a GT spec'd out like this. But let's get out here and look at it one last time before I let y'all go. And it's got memory seats. And the seats are uh, uh, electric seats. Come on now, is this front seat over here electric? No, nah, as you know, our Challengers, this seat wouldn't be electric. This, they are uh, quick release seat right here. These seats are quick release. But let's get out here and uh, get a good look at this bad boy again before we let y'all, before I let y'all slide on up out of here, man. Get a good look at the interior, flat bottom steering wheel, metal uh, pedals, eight inch screen, uh, leather, moon roof, everything you're supposed to have. Memory seats, electric seats, shit, uh, windows, window locks, and as you know, it's got the, the full-blown security system. We got the moon roof. We got the lane assist. As you can see, we got the lane assist. It's white. Beautiful machine. As you can see, I'm gonna, I'm gonna let you see it before I let you go, baby. I'm gonna let you see it before I let you go. 20-inch wheels, granite color. Four piston Brembo's on this bad boy. You got your uh, splitter in the front with the fog lights. You got the... Uh, your wang back there, I said your splitter. Your, uh, you got your uh, rear diffuser. You got your uh, spoiler. <laughs> I couldn't get it out. Spoiler. This thing is lovely, man. But with that being said, man, I'm going to slide on up out of here, man. I appreciate the love y'all be showing your boy T-Light, man. I love y'all. You know I love y'all, man. Your boy Big Werewolf love y'all. I appreciate the love and the support, man. Y'all stay up and y'all stay safe. And like I said, man, I brought you something that everybody ain't bringing. Most people would have did a review on a 392, you know, but don't nobody want to show love to the GTs. I'm going to show you love to the GT guys and gals. I forgot to show y'all the internals. I almost forgot to show y'all the 
the heart, you know what I mean? Yeah, but we got the 3.6 liter VT, VVT motor. Uh, I hate they put that trash can lid over. You can't even see the motor because they got the trash can lid over it. Then you got your air box right there. And as like I said, this is a last call edition. I know he's like, man, ain't no such thing as a last call GT. You're looking at it right here. Brampton or Ontario and Auburn Hills, Michigan. Signed in Auburn Hill, Michigan. I don't know what which one this is. It doesn't have a number on it, but it's definitely batched with the last call. So this is the last call edition GT. I just wanted y'all to see the motor, man, before I slide on up out of here, man. I love you. But with that being said, man, y'all stay up, man. Slide on up out of here. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe, and you share this video. It's your boy, T Light. Oh, yeah. Big shout out to the Werewolf Gang. No. Much love to the light crew. You know how I feel about you, baby. I love you. And with that being said, man, I'm gonna slide on up out of here, man. Y'all stay up, man. Y'all stay blessed there with the negative people. We out of this piece. GT. Bye. Peter Pan, that's what they call me. I promise that you never be lonely. Peter Pan, that's what they call me.